Avast e swabs another nautical expression. James Maxwell here with you. And I'm going to give you a tour of the sailing vessel Wobona. I am, of course, the president, CEO, captain, and chief builder of the Inland Packet and Navigation Company. HTTP semicolon backslash backslash inlandpacket.yolosite.com for those of you who are interested. And uh, I thought I would uh, take you a tour of our flagship right now. She's about 80% complete. And for those of you following this project, I thought you'd like to get a closer look at it. Uh, this is a little bit of background. Uh, she is a Harley 8 Sloop. Um, actually, she's a Harley 8 M, if you want the truth. M, of course, for Maxwell. Free plans can be found on pdracer.com if you're interested in building one yourself. But uh, I'm going to show off some of the modifications that I've made to the vessel, and uh, hopefully they work. I am a uh, never sailor. I've never sailed before. But uh, I figured I'd build, I'd build my own boat and sail away. All right, uh, a lot of the inspirations for some of these modifications came from Andrew Lynn, a prolific small boat builder, uh, one of the few to do the Texas 200 in a PD racer. And uh, I got a lot of inspiration from some of his boats. So I'll be pointing those out uh, as I go around. So let's start at the beginning, the bow. Uh, she has a bow sprit, originally uh, not in the plans, but I wanted one because I like the look. And I also wanted to try to run with a jib. Um, that's not the sailing rig that's called for in the plans, but I figured I might as well try it. If it doesn't work, well, I have a really cool bow sprit. Uh, underneath it, she is equipped with a dolphin knocker, not currently installed. This is her at dock configuration, or almost finished configuration, if you will. Um, but yeah, she is equipped to do that because I like the look of them and I think it would look cool. Uh, moving aft, you can see a spray rail that I installed for those uh, treacherous days uh, on our local inland waterways. It gets pretty better out here. Uh, moving aft, uh, well, there's the mast, 12 feet, uh, and a polytop sail. Hopefully I'll update to white sails at some point so she looks a little bit better. Uh, I'd like to do canvas uh, simply for the uh, r romantic in me, but I don't think that's a very good idea from what I've been told. All right, now I was talking about some of the modifications that I've given this boat, and here is one right here. Uh, Andrew built a teal uh, and equipped it with belaying pins, and I thought that was the coolest thing on earth. Uh, as I've mentioned, I am a complete romantic. When, I, when I'm looking at this boat, I'm not seeing an eight-foot plywood bolt that I built. I'm seeing uh, a windjammer with 14,000 square feet of canvas on it doing 16 knots. So a little of that has <laughs> filtered through. But yeah, I am equipped with uh, belaying pins. As you see, uh, the one uh, the one on the port side uh, currently is for the main for the uh, main halyard, and uh, the one on the starboard side is my is my downhaul right now. Uh, I have some other spaces for more if I need them. Uh, we'll see if that works out. I've changed the setup here a little bit, of course, from the plan, simply because I like the way it looks, and I think it, it's going to function a little bit better as well. Um, as I said, she is at her at dock configuration right there. You can see the rudder. It is a kick down type. Uh, it's a little bit different shape than the plans call for. I actually wanted to have a rudder in the shape of Titanic's, um, which harkens back to the days of sail. So I got a really good picture and I drew it out and cut it out. So there you have a Titanic rudder on my boat. Uh, that is, in fact, the jib in front of it right now. Um, we're still experimenting with the jib. We're not quite sure what we're going to do with that. Moving aft. Uh, let's see here, so you can see I've got my, uh, my, my mask prop up there. And, uh, the blue is a piece of foam that I glued there. Uh, Frenchtown Pond is almost a football field long. And, you know, you want to be comfortable when you're, when you're sailing those massive and copious dis distances. Uh, there you can see the main sheet. Uh, some of the reinforcement that I've done to the uh, transom so that uh, I want to ensure that when I mount my rudder, which still needs to be done, that I can uh, not break the back of my transom because I only went with uh, the one-fourth ply that this boat is com pretty much completely built of. All right, over there you can see the leeboard um, with a few minor modifications again because, well, that's how I built it. And that pretty much covers the sailing vessel w Wawona flagship of the Inland Packet and Navigation Company. Uh, if you've never built a boat before, I highly suggest that you do. It's a lot of fun, um, and you end up with a boat. 
Uh, as far as the 80% goes, I still need to seal all of her outside seams. Um, and I will do that this week. And there are a few other things I need to do in addition to getting uh, supplies for a voyage. Then I will take it to Frenchtown Pond and try it out. There will, be, of course, be a video of that. If you have any questions, please post them below. Uh, in the meantime, I'm James Maxwell. I hope you've enjoyed.